Uh, so your song is pretty cool. It's really playful. Okay. Plus, I mean, you're a singer, songwriter, uh, professional TikTok, uh, TikTok, in, uh, I don't know, star. So what else can you do or what can you not do? Um, that's a good question. I don't know how to cook one bit. I mean, I, uh, no, that's not true. I, I can make broccoli soup, but that's about it. Broccoli soup. So, I mean, if it was up to you, like mm -hmm. for you to cook by your, for yourself, like for the rest of your life, would you leave? Oh, abs I'm absolutely screwed. I'll, I'll die of starvation. Or you would eat like broccoli soup every day. That's a lot of and fiber. I need some protein. I don't know if I can survive on that. Right, right. You're, you're, that's true. That's true. Okay. So what have you been up to the past year? I mean, it's it's been quite. Oh, I mean, since the pandemic started, it's been like two years. But we all take it as one because right. it's like, yeah, we we don't know how much time has passed exactly. We don't feel like it. But what have you been up to during this whole time? I have been oversharing on the internet, musically, of course, and... I don't know about that, though. In, in hopes of inspiring other people to also make music, I love... Um, I get a certain joy out of teaching people things. Right, and we can see that because, I mean, uh, before you dropped Light Switch, months before that, uh, it was crazy because you were sharing it on TikTok. I mean, it's not the first time I think you've shared like the making of music because i think you did that with also the song with elton john so um yeah. that's that's pretty cool though i mean people really get to appreciate it it looks fun it looks it's fun to watch whenever you just are in your process your creative process of uh writing a song or making one so uh are we gonna see any more videos like this in the future oh yeah i mean my whole goal is To, and you go to my page now and see all the songs that I've been teasing. Um, some you have to like dig through them, but I've been teasing all every song that's going to be on the album. My goal is for people to know every song on the album before uh, before the album drops. So it's it's unusual, but it's kind of like this marketing strategy that I just made up. Well, it works. It works. So we're gonna see the making of basically of every song in the album. Yeah. What is the album? Can, I know you cannot say a date, but um, around around when are we gonna be hearing it? Well, it'll be this year. It won't be. It won't be nine years like it's felt like for the other music to come out. Okay. 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 Great. Okay. So you were saying you've been oversharing some musical ideas i don't think it's just music you've been oversharing in the social media because i actually have a video here that i oh, saw on your tiktok what did i do <laughs> and i wanted to ask you about it it's it was i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on the ipad okay okay it's this one i make a lot of talks i can't remember. i think you know what i'm talking about Wait, what? okay so it says And I quote, okay, so it says, uh, thinking about the time when my own song came up during some <laughs> special time, and <laughs> you didn't stop. Okay, so I think that's why I'm saying you've been oversharing some more stuff. I music. mean, to be, to be fair, I didn't exactly say what I was talking about. You kind of just have to, you know, maybe people have different perspectives on it. It was, it's, oh. my, my TikTok is made to... Mm, make your brain think okay okay yeah okay so it, it actually it actually made me think and i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one but i also have to ask how much time do you spend on tiktok like watching tiktoks and making tiktoks because i mean there's a bunch there's a lot going on i don't really i just w when i'm making a song though those are probably the ones that take the longest i don't really spend a lot of time making Um, I just kind of hit record and I have my little editing program that I just splice all the clips together and it's basically that it's pretty it's it, it looks pretty shitty to be completely honest but it's like better that way because people can uh, uh, relate to it more it doesn't look so buttoned up if that makes sense right yes it, it looks it looks pretty homemade which I think your song was kind of homemade right uh, Light yeah. Switch was like a DIY song so Was it your first time working like that? How was it? 
it was really cool because I'm so used to making songs in front of people, like getting off stage and coming up with the music idea, going to the airport, going, uh, I, I love traveling and making music, but I wasn't able to do that, obviously. So I had to really rely on memories and uh, things that I've never written about and a lot of, uh, a lot of talking to myself in circles and coming up with uh, new ideas. I had to do all of that to, um, uh, you know, make new songs. Right. Okay. And how did you came up with Light Switch? Uh, how was like, where, where did you came up? Because you're like, whenever I go down stage or whenever I'm in the airport, so where, where was it? I was on my way to the studio and I knew that I wanted to make a song with uh, a sound and I wanted the sound to be the title of the song and I also wanted the sound to be in the drums of the song and that just happened to be a light switch and right when I, when I said that to myself I just started singing this little melody like if I had a light switch I would da -da 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 like this I would like turn my um, I would like, turn my brain off like this and it just turned into a whole different thing like it was this like sensitive song at first but then it turned into like this dance song because I thought of people you know I hadn't seen people dance in so long right it's it's cool I mean it's really catchy the the rhythm the melody it's it's really catchy and it you can actually uh enjoy but enjoy it just by hearing it you know well, and it's as i told you before it's really playful so are we gonna hear any more songs with weird sounds on it on the album yeah you're gonna hear a lot of on the album you're gonna hear a lot of musical parts that like should for example be played on a guitar that are played on like a synthesizer um totally mismatched but kind of just I, I don't know I never want to make the same sounding thing right okay so um is it really as easy as it looks whenever you write a song because for light switch you made this take a bunch of TikToks making the, the making the song right but it looks yeah. playful it looks fun and it looks easy which which I think it's not but is it easy for you or, or how is it it's sometimes easy but nine times out of ten it's not easy I don't record the times that I make a terrible song. I don't want right. you to hear that. I just happen to make a good song that day. So that's why it looks easy. But like nobody sees me pounding my head against the desk when I can't think of a good song. Right. So what would you tell uh, a, a starting musician, a person who wants to start in music, that maybe it's really hard for them to uh, write songs and maybe they're stuck? What would you tell them? To write what you know about that's what i would don't pretend don't like like if you've never been in love i mean write about the fact that you've never been in love and you want to be in love or maybe you don't want to be in love don't write a song about how you were once in love when it's not true you know what i mean yeah i get it i totally get it okay let's talk about the video the video is also really fun to watch i mean yeah. they have a you you did uh put a good message on the video so uh I, I got it like sometimes we are in relationships and we try to change ourselves for the other person but that that at the end it doesn't work so I really wanted to ask um first is this the message you wanted to give us or am I wrong no it definitely is um <laughs> in the video I started off as like a kind of out of shape guy with a beard and I never went into an explanation as to why I had broken up with that person, but um, it's when you go to the end of the video, you see that she's with someone who looks exactly like me. So right. the, goal, the message is to never change yourself for somebody; just change yourself because if you want to, if if you want to change yourself, you might not even necessarily need to. Um, but it's just, right. you know, it's also dark comedy at the end. Like yeah, I, I like it. It's really fun to watch. But I mean, I wanted to ask you, because we all have done crazy things whenever we're in love or, I mean, with someone. So um, have you ever yeah. changed something about you or done something crazy for someone and then you regret it? You regret it completely? Yeah. And you guys broke up. Okay, so what have you done? 
Well, I, I can mean, tell you mine if you want. I mean, well, I mean, you first. It, these are all things that are like, per, like personal. It, I believe it, at least that they're all things that provide personal growth. And, you know, I maybe wouldn't even be the person that I am talking to you now. Hadn't those things happened to me, maybe my music got even better because of it. Um, but I mean, we all want things to work out when they're on the it's on the horizon of not working out because you always want to see i feel like we all genuinely as humans want to see the best out of everything but sometimes you just come to a point where it's just not possible um anymore but it, these are all character building character defining things i mean i'm 30 now uh and I am a completely different person that I was uh, when I was 25, for example. Right, right. But I mean, the example was really relatable uh, and I think everyone could get it. So if somebody's watching and hasn't watched the video yet, just go look for it. Okay, Charlie. Oh, it was, that video. Okay, it was really, really nice talking to you. So uh, before we finish this, could you invite the people from Radio Planeta to listen to your new song? Hey, this is Charlie Puth and you're listening to Radio Planeta and you're going to hear my new song, Light Switch, and listen to it a lot and call in the station and ask for them to play it a lot. They won't get annoyed. They told me to ask you to request it a lot. <laughs>